we have always thought that it might be a good question to put to Mr. Kenneth Dodd and the members of the Beatles. Uh, to what extent do they attribute their success to their hairstyles? And we'll start by asking that question now of Mr. Ken Dodd. Uh, with hairstyles? Well, I think it uh, has a big deal, a great deal to do with my, uh, what do you mean what? Success. Your hairstyle. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, well, I think so, yes. I like to keep it in trim. You know, I eat a lot of shredded wheat because it's good for the hair. And uh, I have it cut <laughs> twice a year, whether I need it or not. Short back and sides and a bit off the shoulders. And, uh, <laughs> You know, I think so. oh, well, what do you feel about the boys? I think there's a remarkable, a wonderful style, actually, because they're different than me, because with them being Martians, uh, they... <laughs> <laughs> a professor of archaeology at Nottingham University has <laughs> discovered some tablets which say that the Beatles are definitely Martians. Grundy's their leader. <laughs> how, how long have you known this, Kenny? Bill Grundy? Well, I've known he was out of this world for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, we're all Martians. And as Martians, I think it's a very good, uh, it's a very good hairstyle, that. <laughs> very much. I'd like one of those myself. Do, do you think that, they, that their hairstyles are the things that caught on, uh, Ken? Do you think that's why they're so successful? Oh, no, no, no. I think, I think these boys have a very nice gimmick. Talent. And, uh, <laughs> no, I think they would have gone without, without, with or without hairstyles. Who actually designed it, boys? Is it uh, uh, Camel Israeli? Uh, Israeli! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought it was done by Camel Lurds, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I have mine done there, you know, they get the scaffolding up once a year. And, uh, <laughs> All right, well, let's turn the tables out. Boys, what do you think of Mr. Ken Dodd? That's oh, great. Oh, he's yeah. marvellous. He's, he's a good it's lovely hair. He's lovely, lovely hair. <laughs> hair is lovely. <laughs> yeah. We, have, we call it her in Liverpool, you see. We always say the Judy with the fur her. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, a fellow went into one of those shops once in Liverpool where they sell those, uh, you know, minks and things, and he says, uh, the girl, he said, give us one of those uh, hurry coats. <laughs> I say, I beg your pardon, sir, what fur? He said, for the Judy, who do you think? <laughs> uh, do you think that he owes a lot of his success to his hairstyle, fellas? No, I don't think it helped at all. <laughs> <laughs> it probably would have been better if he was bald. <laughs> but <it's> bald? <laughs> oh, no, no, no bald. With the teeth, I think the teeth and the hair, all the jimmicks, you know, I think you have to have a... I think you definitely have to have a jimmick. Oh, about yes, the too. nose? You've all got jimmicks, haven't you, Lloyd? Hey? What about the nose? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about the nose? He's a Martian. <laughs> 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 Actually, we were, we, were, we were writing this uh, film strip for the boys. You know, the boys yeah. are making this new film, and we've been writing the script, and actually yeah. we've cast Ringo in the part of King Charles on account of the uh, thing, you know, and he goes along <laughs> to Nell Gwynn and pinches her jaffas. And <laughs> 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 Tell us more about this picture. We didn't know about this. Oh, picture. yes, we've written the thing. Oh, oh, he's writing part. I'm writing he, the script. Writing I'm writing the script, oh, yeah. yes. Um, new deal. Yes, <laughs> with the, uh, with Naughty Ash University, you know, the help of the people, the professors there, uh, he's King Charles, John is a courtier, and in the, uh, in this film, he wears a long golden wig with all beautiful curls, Very nice. and uh, a blue velvet jacket, and, uh, like, sort of knickerbockers with lace around the bottom, <laughs> and uh, buckle shoes with diamante clips on, and he's sort of walking around on the film set, and there's a policeman standing on the side, and he said, we'll pinch him when he comes up. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what, what's he supposed to be doing, though? I mean, well, he John, he's a peasant. He's an evil son. John, John, Thingy, he's... Uh, <laughs> 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 he's, uh, he's an evil... <laughs> An evil smelling peasant. An evil uh, smelling peasant. <laughs> why is he an evil smelling? Why is he an evil smelling peasant? Come on, stand where I am. Finished. <laughs> yeah. Or is a jester, you see. Yeah. And he's always making the, the king laugh. Yeah. Every time he stands in his head, the king laughs like anything. He wears a kilt. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> is he pigeon chest? <laughs> The, the film all uh, takes part, all about this. We're trying to get uh, Bridget Bardot to play Nell Gwynn, yeah. and uh, he cops them one by one, <laughs> see, uh, and has them all, uh, has their noggins cut off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. At their head. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then they do, they've, they've got this hit song, which, um, what is it, uh, what's the song? Uh, Please let me uh, break your leg. Yeah. Yeah. Twist your arm. Twist your arm. Next you. week. That's, that's it, yes. It's yeah. very nice too, lads. Uh, th very this, nice. this is, in fact, a period musical, then, is that right? Yes, yeah. yes, all the boys think. And, of course, in the, <laughs> at the end of the film, this handsome Arabian prince comes on and finally uh, steals <laughs> Nell Gwynn. <laughs> and hands me a cock. 
Yes. So, so you command just in the last reel? As an Arabian yes. prince, yes. As an Arabian prince. Yes. Skivinsky, Skivar. Oh, I should imagine that's not, <laughs> that's, that's not very easy for you to come on as an Arabian prince. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. oh, yes. oh yes. what? Smoking me hookah? <laughs> oh, yeah. Very well, huh? But actually, boys, that's nothing about her, because, is it? I mean, you do have to eat any special food to uh, keep this going. You have uh, jam butties or... No, straw. just straw. Straw, you have? Oh, I eat Sleep a lot of... Bales I, have sky, I have the berries off the scouse bushes <laughs> uh, that grow on the banks of the Mersey. You have these, and it's made into a juice. It's made... They, they get the... When the scouse bushes are in bloom, around about the back end of November now, they get the uh, berries, and they squeeze them into a glass, and it makes a wonderful juice called yaki juice. And uh, I drink a lot of this yaki juice, yes. and, uh, you know... There you go. That's right. <laughs> That's why, like that's why I look like I do now. Yeah. <laughs> well, what about their guitar playing, Ken? Do you wonderful. Have you any comments to make about that? Wonderful, wonderful, because uh, one of the boys is a big fan of Segovia. Yes, yes. And she's no mug, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. I like it. Is, is this true, Segovia? Segovia. Yeah, yeah, Segovia. You're, you're the big fan of Segovia, mm, Segovia yeah, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Didn't you ask for his autograph the other week? Well, I got it for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I read about that, yeah. Mm. I asked for his autograph. I didn't really, but I don't mind having it. No, well, I've got a list of expenses down as a taxi <laughs> yeah. to theme Bob <laughs> from Naughty Ash to the Philharmonic. <laughs> yeah. I'll let well, you have it afterwards. What about guitar yourself, Ken? Do you play? You don't? No, no, no. no. I, I give a little tootle on the saxophone. You know, that's a hill wind that nobody blows good. <laughs> and. Uh, you know, just to annoy the neighbours. But you, you no, no ambitions to play guitar like these lads. Oh, I'd love to be able to play guitar like these lads. Yes, I wonder if they, do you think you take a fifth Beatle on? Yeah, well, we were thinking of that. Yeah, we I was, were I thinking was, of that. Or, I mean, I don't want to split your group up, lads. I often wonder, though, why you don't let Ringo sing. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, well, why don't we you could, let Ringo we sing? We could have a... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we do. Does. We do. You just haven't got well, the new LP. Yeah, yeah. the new LP. No. Yeah, well, this is the new LP, yeah. which is up to LP. number 17 or something right away in the top oh, yeah. Did you hear about that, Ken? Oh, really the new wonderful. LP wonderful, is up. I have an LP, a large pimple. I bet you've had that one for a long time. <laughs> it actually is one of LP, plays for three days. <laughs> and it's like there's a hole in the middle, you can either play it or blow peas through it. <laughs> Getting back to this group, Ken, have, I, you, have, I, you, have you no ambitions to form a group yourself? Love to, love to, with the boys. Yeah. Kenny and well, the no, I mean, I, Kenny and the <laughs> Well, or Doddy and the Diddy Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, what about yourself? Would you, would or you, Ringo and the Layabouts. <laughs> <laughs> would you not form one yourself, Ken? Yes, I'd like to, yes, because uh, the only thing is I'd have to the change my name, you see. I'd have to have a name like Cliff or Rock, something earthy. Well, I don't know, eh? Slash oh. Cliff Dodd. No. <laughs> Rock Dodd? No, let's invite suggestions for an earthy name for me. <laughs> yeah, well, what about that fellow? Uh, yeah. eh? Sod. <laughs> 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 Follow that. Gritty. Gritty. Gritty dog and his group. Any more suggestions now, ladies and gentlemen? <coughs> I don't think you can follow that. No, I don't think you can follow leave that one alone, I think. Well, what about that? Yeah. Well, what about the boys? I mean, they, you asked them, meet where I like to be a group. What about the lads? You're all... I'd you. like to be a group, too. You are a group. <laughs> 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 no, wouldn't you like to? You do comedy as well, don't you? I've seen John. You do some. Uh, I just say lines. Yes, yeah. you say say some very good lines. Oh, thank you. That one, the one about the jewel rattling the jewels. That was very good, though. Right? <laughs> yes, oh, that was it. That's I've used it since. And <laughs> 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 Sorry, fun, fun. No, but you do. You do clowning, don't you, yourselves? And uh, yeah, yeah. would you, in time, like work gags into your act? And I don't know. It's hard. Because <coughs> most of our gags are either either. made up and so they either die or we keep them if they go down. Or Sort of in that jewel thing that we thought of the night before, you know. Well, it we certainly went down well, didn't yeah. it? <laughs> yeah, it went down very well, right? Yeah. So you, 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 yeah, you'd you like to do a bit more comedy? Yeah, but it's so hard, isn't it? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well I don't know. I imagine it's easier for four fellows than I think for one. It'll be easier when we get him in the group, though. Oh, I will. We'll, we'll leave him up yeah. to yeah. him. Well, yeah, I'll be the one with the baggy yeah. pants. Yeah. Well, well the next thing <laughs> is... Oh, the you the baggy pants, pizza heart of gold. No, that's not <laughs> Are you going to let them sing if you do take them into the group? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's got a great voice anyway. Could, because we all do all their numbers. Actually, my granddad, he was sitting up all last night in bed going, Twist and show! <laughs> Twist and show! <laughs> he's got water bottle as well. <laughs> 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 oh, he's going to do that. One night before he finished supper, he had two great big boiled onions smothered in mustard. He was up all night singing, Great Balls of Fire! <laughs> 
Hey, good sport, Miranda. What's wrong with your hand, Kenny? Now it's got some paint off the thingy, off, uh, off the uh, camera. Yeah, oh, that's yes. a lovely suit yes. now. <laughs> <laughs> like a herringbone bone oh, on the back. <laughs> <laughs> You've all been lean on. What, what, what have you got planned for the future, Ken? Where are you, what, what I'm are you going doing? to the. Uh, I'm in court this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all be in court after this. <laughs> I'm, I'm at the Royal Court, Liverpool. Mm -hmm. uh, and the lads, you're going to Liverpool as well, aren't you? Christmas, uh, just uh, roundabout Christmas. Uh, roundabout, yeah. We're all going home, you know, for uh, scouts with Ollie stuff. Crazy and day. That. Yeah, crazy day. To the pool. Oh, to the pool, yes. Uh, how long will you be there? over Christmas. A fortnight, three weeks, a month? We'll be there. <laughs> day. Day. Yeah, because we're working, actually. Yeah, we've got, there's a Christmas show. Well, with them being away from London, the the air's a bit strong for them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I'm like going there on the, uh, from December the 13th, and if the show does any good, like, you can usually tell, they either say, send your laundry, or don't send. You know? <laughs> if they say, send your laundry, you know you're there for a week anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah. And how long will you be doing there, Ken? Well, for a week. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'm hoping to be there for about eight or nine weeks. Yeah, well, normally when you come to the opera house, you're here for uh, three months or something, aren't you? Yes, yes. Same, yeah. yeah. Do you like going back to the pool? To oh, the yes. Oh, I always nice to go back. The uh, keep one jump ahead of the creditors, but uh, you know, if you can, it's lovely to go back home. What about what about the sense of humour? I know that you carry out this study all over England about the different senses of humour in, in well, the north you and find in the that, south. Don't you boys, they yeah. throw different things in different parts of the country, don't they? <laughs> no, they do, though. They're, they're different uh, parts of the... I mean, you can tell a joke in Manchester and they don't get it in London. Really? They can't hear it. <laughs> 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 different parts of the, of the country have different sense of view, but I think they all uh, get the Liverpool, uh, the Liverpool sound and the Liverpool gags, don't they? Just oh, the, yeah, they do most of them. So the Liverpool, the Liverpool <coughs> audience is the easiest audience to find to work with. It's your, your own uh, well, Liverpoolians are uh, very good on you. I don't know about Evertonians, but uh, <laughs> what are you, by the way, lads? Oh, Liverpool, they won this week. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Whoever's <laughs> winning, you know. <laughs> Liverpoolians are very good uh, audiences mm. usually, yes. Yeah. Let's ask the boys, uh, how, how much has this big thing affected your own personal lives? You, you know, do, has it changed you very much yeah. yourselves? No, it's <laughs> just... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> well, it's it's nothing wrong with them. You were always so unfair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, what about getting home? Would you like to get home a bit more? Yeah, yeah well, if we're going to get houses with wheels, <laughs> that's the only answer, and sort of drag them around with camels and that. Uh, and what, what about your, your folks? Do the they landlords on skates. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about your folks? Do they resent not seeing enough of you now? I, 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 I think so, you know. We'd like to get rid of it. Oh, yeah. There you go. No, we'd like to get back more than we do. But it's not always possible, you know. Mm. Uh, How do you feel about this, Ken? Do you get tired um, travelling around the country? And it's nice to go to different places, visit, watch the way uh, other people uh, hold their pints. <laughs> 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 yes, it's nice to travel all around the country and meet different people. But, but you make you make it a rule, don't you, to get home to Liverpool as often as you can? Now. If I can, yes. Well, you know, for the air. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. Right, Joe. Thing, yeah. And I, of course, you know, as you know, Liverpool is a spa. <laughs> 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 uh, years ago, you see, I have such such strong roots with Liverpool. It was one of my ancestors who actually discovered Liverpool, a man called Sir Dingle Jetty. <laughs> <laughs> He was the man who discovered the famous jam butty mines, <laughs> not the ash, until yeah. one day, unfortunately, he fell into a jam vat. <laughs> jam vat! <laughs> and expired, uh, shouting the now familiar phrase, heavens preserve us. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like to get back to not the ash university to... Um, <laughs> what, what other relations I'm have you got? I'm in chambers. You know. You're in chambers? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Jerry and the pacemakers. <laughs> <laughs> what other relations have you got in Liverpool? Liverpool? Um, well, there's my ma'am. Yeah. You've got your ma'am there, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. And your dad. Yeah. yeah. How many of you have mams and dads there? Yeah. Oh, All mams and dads. Me. Yeah. Oh, oh, friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have, yeah. And, uh, and uh, brothers, brothers and sisters, you know. I've no, no, I'm a relative. Have you any children to speak of? <laughs> I've got one to no. speak of. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> 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 go on, keep and, talking. Uh, that's, where, uh, that's where I have my bike, you see, and I uh, <laughs> like to go run out, you know, on the bike and, uh, you know, as I say, go and see the black pudding plantations in <laughs> Yeah, That's me. Is that on a black pudding plantation? Are you really? Hi, are you the fellow that keeps planting them out there? Yeah. Oh. Are you the fellow who keeps digging them up? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's nothing nicer than to go out to... Uh, Gattaca and watch it all uh, being yeah. happening <laughs> in the uh, fields. It's all happening in Suppose the we could wrap this up by asking the boys very briefly, have you got a word of advice for somebody who's starting out in show business? I'll come to you later, not, not, not yet, the boys first. 
Help! Get a job. <laughs> Get a job, help. What do you say, Ringo? Oh, Keep trying. Look. Do your best, you know. Oh. Heart crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about a word of advice from Mr. Kenneth Dodd? Then? Well, I yeah. think the best anybody starting out in show business... Uh, is that a serious question? Yes, yeah, uh, serious I think anybody starting out in show business should be like the Beatles and be original. That's the thing. I think originality oh, is, the, uh, is the secret of success. Okay. Boys, thank you. 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 Thanks, Kenny.